Good afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you're at. It's afternoon for me, approaching the evening. I'm just hopping out of the shower and God, God put something on my heart that I want to share with y'all. Who is Jesus? Jesus of the Bible. Who is Jesus? Oh man, the list goes on. But let me give you a few, a few truths about who Jesus is. Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is God the Son. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior. Ah, Jesus Christ did go to that cross. He was crucified. He paid the debt for our sins. He, he sacrificed himself, was buried, and on the third day, God rose him from the dead. When we believe that, when we believe that he died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead, we become children of God, and we come to know God. We come to know Jesus Christ intimately. And then who does Jesus become to you? I'll share a couple of who Jesus Christ has become to me. Jesus Christ is everything I had ever been looking for in life. And I didn't know that it was the person of Jesus Christ. Do you have that? Did you or do you have that longing in your soul for something more? The longing within, the crying out within for something more, for something satisfying, for something deep and rich, for love, for peace, for comfort, for safety. I was looking for all those things. And I went to a lot of different places to find it. I went into a lot of different religions. I went into a lot of different drugs. I went into, oh man, everything the world tells you is gonna make you happy. But man, everything here just passes away. But God is eternal. And so are his promises. And so is his love. We have, we are born. We are born with a God-sized hole within us that can only be filled by Him. We have this God-sized yearning for peace and for love that can only come from Him. No amount of sex, drugs, alcohol, money, violence, fame, accolades, achievements, accomplishments, no amount of spiritual ascension, no amount of meditation, yoga, any spiritual practice. No amount of searching for love in people or things, trying to fix ourselves with relationships or objects or food. No amount of that stuff that comes from the world is going to fill that God-sized hole within us. If you are not a child of God, if you, if you don't know if you're a child of God, if you don't know, I just, I implore you right now, God is speaking to you through this video and he's telling you, I'm reaching out to you. Call out to me. Romans 10, 13 says, all who call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. Call out to Jesus Christ and ask for the truth. Ask for him to reveal himself to you. Time is very short. As we can see, this world is spiraling down. It is spiraling out of control, and it's only about to get a lot worse. And I don't say that to spread any fear, because I'm not afraid of it, and neither should you be. If you know Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, if you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead, there is no fear. Because perfect love casts out fear, and his love is perfect. 
it is the only thing that fills that God-sized hole within us because he is God. Jesus Christ is peace. Jesus Christ is love. Jesus Christ is joy. Jesus Christ is satisfaction. Jesus Christ is ah, happiness. Jesus Christ is fulfillment. Jesus Christ is safety. Jesus Christ is security. Jesus Christ is gentle. Jesus Christ is humble. Jesus Christ is... Ah, I've already said it, but Jesus Christ is love. And if you're looking for something and you can't find it, I tell you right now, it's because it's Jesus Christ. Now, many people spend a lot longer looking for, uh, looking for the truth than I have. And a lot of people spend not a lot of time looking for the truth and they find it. I spent a decade, I spent 10 years looking for the truth. And I nearly got myself killed time and time again. Overdosing on drugs, demonic possession, dabbling in stuff, witchcraft, occult stuff that we should not be involved in. I spent 10 years. The last three, last three or four, they were the most intense because that's when I went full force. That's when I went full speed ahead on the, on the path, to, path to death. And I just didn't know. But I tell you that God's love, God's light shined in the darkness and broke through. And he pulled me from death to life. He pulled me out of the pit of darkness and despair. And he revealed the truth to me that his son, Jesus Christ, really is exactly who he says he is. And that Jesus Christ died for my sins, was buried on the third day, rose from the dead. And I believed, I, prof I confess that Jesus is Lord. And I, oh, I worship him every day. Because... I was on death's door several times, ready to give up, ready to end my life. Towards the end, I was homeless. I had no money. I felt completely isolated and alone. I felt like I was fighting for my life every single day. I felt like I didn't know that I was possessed at the time. I felt like there was something inside of me that was trying to take my life. And I couldn't even control my body or my mouth at certain times of the day. It would just start moving. Pretty scary stuff. At least it was scary then. It's not anymore because I'm completely free by the blood of Jesus Christ. John 8, 36, who the Son sets free is free indeed. I'm no longer striving to find the answer. I'm no longer seeking the truth. It's Jesus Christ. And he loves you so much. He loves you so, so much that he went to that cross. He died for your sins. He was buried on the third day. God rose him from the dead. And when we believe him, when we believe in him, when we believe that he did that for us, we're saved. We become a child of God. And we are no longer appointed unto wrath. We are no longer... Uh, we are no longer condemned, but we are reconciled unto God. And God's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, comes and lives within, within us. And we get to know Jesus Christ. We get to know God in the most intimate and beautiful and loving and joyful <laughs> remaining years of your life. There is nothing better, nothing. I can guarantee you, 100%, there is nothing better than knowing that you are a child of God and you are a child of God by faith in Jesus Christ. There is nothing better than knowing God and being known of God, knowing that God knows you. There's nothing better than that. He created the heavens and the earth. He created the stars and the sea. And he knows them all by name. All of the stars he knows by name. And he knows your name. And if you're seeing this video, it's not by chance. It's because he's calling out to you and he's reaching out to you. 
And if you're already a child of God, brother, sister, I look, I look forward. I'm so excited to seeing you in heaven. I've got a big hug and a big high five waiting for each and every one of you. And I'm praying for each and every one of you. And again, for those who do not know Jesus Christ who are watching this video, I'm praying for you. I pray that whoever here in the, hears this message knows that Jesus Christ, oh, he loves you. He loves you so much. Jesus Christ is our everything. Anything we've ever been searching for is found in Jesus Christ. And we can finally rest from all of this, all of this, <laughs> whatever this world is, we can finally rest from all of it and be at peace. Because, because we know that Jesus Christ is our Savior, because we know that He died for us was, and was risen again. And now we are reconciled to God. We are made close to God by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are made His children. We are given eternal life, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I love each and every one of you. I know this is this is not a this is not a teaching video. This is not a not necessarily an, uh, uh, an admonition video either. This is just this is my heart right now. This is what God this is what God has put on my heart, and it's just I just want to share it with you guys. I just wanted to let you know He loves you so much. He is with you every step of the way. You are breathing, and He has a plan for you. Everything that happens, he's watching, he's protecting, he's providing, he's loving, and he's supplying through his spirit grace that is sufficient in all things. No matter what you're going through, don't look at how big the problem you how how big you think the problem is. Proclaim the truth that you're a child of God and that he is providing every one of your needs always always all right let's close in prayer father father in jesus name i pray for everyone watching this video and i pray for all of my brothers and sisters i pray that you would bless them that you would keep them that you would show them the door at which they can just come and come in and sup with you and dine with you and rest from their own works lord that we can have peace with you for we do have peace with you. As Romans 5, 1 through about 4 says, we've been justified by faith in Jesus Christ and now we are, we are reconciled. And now we have access to you, God, whom we have peace with through Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that you would bless each and every one of my brothers and sisters, that you would provide for them every one of their needs, that you would give them the strength and the courage to keep going. We know that this race is just about over and we're just going to keep on running with our eyes set on the prize. We have eternal life in our Lord Jesus Christ. We have an inheritance that is incorruptible and our destiny is set in eternity. Thank you, Father. I bind every attack of the enemy that's coming against this video or coming against this message in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray that you would bind and forbid every attack of the enemy over my brothers and sisters listening to this video. And that you would scatter, scatter the enemy. Oh Lord, that your hand would come upon them and you would, you would deliver them from every, any situation that they are in. Any physical oppression or emotional or mental oppression, Father, or whatever deliverance that they need, Father, you know exactly what they need. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would give it to them and that they would glorify you and let the world know that you, O oh Lord, God of Israel, God of Abraham, of Jacob and of Isaac, of you are our God. You are the one true living God. And you are, oh, you are almighty. You are all-knowing and you are perfect, holy and righteous. In Jesus' name, we praise you and we glorify your name, Father. Amen. I love y'all. God bless and have a great day.